All the purchases connected with your studies at Maastricht University are done online via the IS Shopping Center. This video reveals the secrets of this platform. So let's talk about how to shop in IS. You will need your ID number, your primary password, the link you've received by email before your arrival, payment card for online international transactions, which does not have to be in your name, just make sure you have a permission to use it, and an active SUPO account. Before your arrival, you have received an email with a direct link to buy the requested items in the shopping center. The link takes you to the platform where you can purchase the items and add them to your shopping cart. However, in order to buy these items, you have to have your Zupo account activated. To see how to activate your Zupo account, check out the video How to manage your Zupo account. When you click on the link sent to your email, you will see the items to purchase, their details and price. If interested, add the item to the shopping cart. Note that the booking deposit for your accommodation must be paid separately. To complete your order, click on the shopping cart icon on the right hand side. To double check your shopping cart, click on details. Make sure that all the items are in your shopping cart only once. If you have accidentally ordered two items, decrease the quantity by clicking on the minus button. To delete an item from your list, click on the red cross in the column Remove. When you're ready to finalize your purchase, click Order. At this point, the system asks you to log in to the IS. Click on the offered link and use your ID number and primary password to log in. Your basic information is automatically filled in, so skip this step and click Next. Don't worry if you see some discrepancies, they're irrelevant. Nothing is sent via postal service, you will pick everything up in person after arrival. Purchase can be made only by card. As I mentioned before, you don't need your own payment card, you can use your parents or your friends. Click Next. To complete an order, review all the information and hit the button Complete Order. However, this is not the end. You still need to fill in the payment details. Click on Payment by Card to open a page which gives you information about secure payments. Click on Pay by Card to get to the payment getaway and fill in the required data. To cancel an unpaid order, click on My Orders which you will find on the right hand side. There, you see all orders made in your name. Click on the ID number of the one you want to cancel. Scroll down the page to find a link. Do you want to discard the order? Check the required box and click Discard Order. You can still see the order on the list, but now it's shown as cancelled. You can check the order status and payment status in the section My Orders. If you've placed an order but did not complete the whole process or there was a problem with your payment, the order status will say order placed. In this case, cancel the order and start all over again. If you have finished placing the order and paid for it, the order status will say payment by card authorized and you're done. Don't worry if the payment status says payment not received. This will change as soon as we receive your payment to the bank account. At that point, the payment status automatically changes into payment received. Good job!